All right, I have plenty of stone. I've got a pretty good pile of logs. Uh, I'll have to check what I've got on stick. Alright, I'm coming back. I'm gonna head up to the roof. Head up to the roof? Okay. Yeah, yeah. six hours till the blood moon. I'll make sure I get up there and I'm full inventory anyway. It's gonna take me a little bit to unload. I'm gonna try and get on that big bed you were on here and. Just heard some zombie. Sounds like he was outside. Yeah, I hear it. No, there's a forge over here in this A-frame house. Yeah, I know. We don't really have time to fiddle around with it till after the first this blood moon, though. All right, I'm up on the roof. Yeah, this zombie I think found me over in this house. I'm gonna have to come out of here and maybe pop him. I was hoping to get full before I have to do it. up on the rough. Yeah. Just trying to unsort all my random crap. Did 
definitely time to consolidate these bags. We've got enough cloth to make at least a couple of the uh, storage sacks. All right. First backpack by the fire's got the materials. Uh, I'm still trying to unload and sort here. Water's cooking. All right, so empty the blue, the blue backpack and the duffel bag right in front of me here. So I can drop back. Second one's empty. Alright. Go ahead and move all your food to the one closest to the fire.
Have you got a spot for medicine stuff, or should, do I need to leave a bag for medicine? Nope, first bag is all food and medicine and stuff. Got some random items to dump off. I'll let you figure out where these go. Whoops, keep that. So the first one is all food and medicine. The second one is going to be uh, supplies. I'm going to put gun stuff down there in that last one where you're pulling stuff from. Alright, do we have any torches we can put up? Got a whole mess of candles. They don't provide hardly any light when it's dark. I can't fight with candles. If you put up a, just a couple of torches, kind of surround this area here, just in case something does get up here, like a spider zombie, I'll be able to fight, because I don't have a mining helmet, so I'll be in the dark. Making six torches. Six torches in bag two.
All right, that must be Blood Moon up, right? Yep. I got some spikes over here in between these torches, just in case. Now would be a good time to AFK. Sure, if you want. <laughs> Alright, I've got a stack of 15 waters on me, so you can grab the stack of water that's ready to go in the fire. Not gonna start the fire while the blood moon's going on, just in case. Yep. Got another five minutes to craft another 90 arrows. And then I'll probably craft some more arrows. I'm crafting 119 bone ship. Congratulations. 24 minutes. <laughs> And I'm going to turn those into spikes and add them to our defenses. Have you cured any leather yet? Nope. All I got was a table set up and then we took off and that's as far as I got. Alright. Only one of us needs to cure it, so... Well, you both have quests, so... I know, but it's just to gather for cured leather. So as soon as one person does it, just hand that leather off to the other person and it auto-completes. Really? Yep. Just says gather. Doesn't say craft. Gather just means have it in your inventory. Yeah, everything else has been cured except for the gather. Yep. I'm still missing, I think, a purse to finish off that looted storage. I'm pretty sure there's one downstairs on the level below us, around the back corner. But you, I can't you, do that right now. Have you been... Um, Saving your tree seeds that you've been collecting? Um, no, not real. Well, yeah, actually, they're here somewhere. Cool. We need ten of three different types of trees to do the first of the farming quests. Ten pine, ten blue spruce, and ten maple. I've got nine maple. <laughs> 
And we're halfway the... halfway through the Blood Moon. Right now, Dang, no, is, it's only it's only two hours. We got four more. We're a third of the way through the Blood Moon. This has been killer. I don't know how I'm going to keep outrunning these things. Yeah, so he says until they knock out a corner of the building and the whole structure comes down. <laughs> I think there's enough internal supports that knocking out a corner wouldn't do that. I would hope so. Knock on wood. I'm hopeful this will last us two blood moons. That would be awesome. So we can easily stay busy. <laughs> we haven't even really touched most of the town yet. Get another... One or two storage sacks, we'll have our storage problems all taken care of, and then we can concentrate on getting other stuff done. We need to find a nice tent to get lots of cloth to... Yep. Once we get this Blood Moon done and do one last little reorg thing, we'll probably be ready to do a concerted run through a town and uh, scope it out. Popping pills right, was really good. Here's some below us, finally. So far, no spiders have come over the wall, so... Well, I, I like the fact that we're far enough back from the edges so nobody sees us and is spitting at us. No, we got no line of sight, so I don't think they need, they're coming at us that way. So they might be just wandering through the building and... You know, Still need to get iron to get the iron reinforced clubs up. Well, Energy serving. you'll need the uh, anvil skill. We'll have to put the anvil together, and then between the forge and the anvil, we'll have what we need to uh, do the club. Veggie servings, I think I almost had, but that's when I was getting annoyed at this respawning spitter because I was trying to harvest a little garden area that had two different kinds of flowers, and I couldn't tell the last plant if it was fruits of some kind or veggies. Every time I started to try to pick them, I got hit bomb from behind by a respawn spitter. How far through nine are you? I just hit nine just a minute ago. I'm, I'm about a quarter of a level behind you then. So where are you having to go to get the water? Um, remember where Poppin' Pills was? Instead of heading directly towards it from here, you kind of angle off to the right a bit. And there's two water towers out that way. So at the base of the water tower, there's these little water puddles. You just refill there. It's a pretty quick trip. You can get there and back in just a couple minutes. We've pretty much cleaned out the A-frame. Yeah, A-frame's empty. Okay. Other than the forge. Right. I'd like to work on that other building next door. The glass one? Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's what you call it. We probably, let's clear the glass one real quick and then start doing things away from the building. That way when the mini hordes generate, they're not coming directly at our base. <laughs> Try to spend more time out away from the base during the daylight. I'll feel a little better once we get another mining hat. Hundred and two more feathers. Seventy six more bones to get through at <laughs> one every four points. That's almost twenty points worth. How are my spears doing over there? I haven't made any in a while. Yet? No, I can't make them. <laughs> you have to do them in the fire. I'm not lighting the fire during the night. During the day, we're out and about, so... Spear, my spears are hovering at 219. Won't That's take, won't take me long. Though. Won't take me long to get them up. I just haven't been able to spend a, five minutes to grind them up. They build real fast, so... 
but they take stones and sticks or stones and branches and fiber so I brought back I don't know 800 or so fiber I managed to convert some while I was mowing the grass so we're looking at 160 iron so I got 85 coal thousand sticks, got 500 ropes, and hey, where in the heck did all my stones go? I had over 800 stones. <laughs> There's 400 left. Yep. 300 of them just got turned into arrows. Holy and I've, moly, I, that's And I've awesome. got like 50 more on me that I haven't been able to put back yet. Two o'clock. I brought back 800 then. <laughs> two more hours, or two more hours.